ready to hear a little bit more about a star and the DAP network. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yeah, thank you for <laughs> the uh, you know, posting messages on chat. Great. So, Soda, I will hand it over to you um, mm -hmm. for the presentation. I'll check to see if there's any great questions from the audience, and, uh, and we'll talk about that afterwards. But until mm -hmm. then, uh, I'll hand you the stage. Good luck. Awesome. So, yeah, uh, I think everyone is from Eric's session to my session. Yeah, hi, Donny, and hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And today I'm going to talk about cross virtual machine on the top of Xama network. So let me share my screen. If you have any question, feel free to ask me on, on the chat or the, the crowdcast. So let me share my screen. Yes, let's get it. Right. Cool. So yeah, uh, my name is Sota Watanabe. I'm founder of Asta Network and Shiden Network. We recently rebranded from Plasm to Asta because a lot of people are confusing the relationship between Plasm and Plasma. So Plasm, Plasma is famous layer to Ethereum layer to solution. We started making layer to solution back in 2019, but we changed our direction from layer to, to smart contract platform. So now Asta is a multi-chain smart contract adapts hub on Polkadot, supporting Ethereum virtual machine, WebAssembly, and layer two solution. And Asta is for Polkadot, and Shiden is for Xama. And Asta is not launched yet because Polkadot is not ready yet right now. But Shiden has been already launched, and Shiden became a Xama parachain one month ago, one month ago. Uh, this is awesome. And and we have been waiting for the Xama Parachain auction for more than two years. So it was a wonderful moment for me and for the community. And today I'm going to talk about the Asta network and Shiden network, and then uh, Shiden network as a Xama Parachain. And as a third point, I'm going to introduce cross virtual machine. So cross virtual machine is the interaction between WebAssembly and the uh, Ethereum virtual machine. And then I will show you a demo. Cool. So what's the difference between Asta and Shiden? Uh, many people are confusing about the relationship between Polkadot and Xama. So Xama is a experimental network, but this is not the testnet. This is the main net, but 10 times smaller than Polkadot. And we have uh, two networks. Shiden and Asta. So Shiden is a network for Xama and 10 times smaller than Asta. So Asta is uh, for Polkadot parachain. And Shiden is already live right now. And we listed the Shiden token on KuCoin, Gates, uh, MEXC, and Kraken today. And more, more exchanges are coming right now. And regarding the Asta network, we are waiting for the Polkadot. Once Polkadot announced, Web3 Foundation announced the date of the auction, we are going to join the Parachain auction. And once we win the auction, uh, we're going to become a Polkadot Parachain. So what, what is Asta network? So Asta network is a Polkadot native DAP hub supporting Ethereum virtual machine, WebAssembly, and DAP staking and layer two solution. So the important thing is Polkadot relay chain. Polkadot consists of relay chain and parachain. The relay chain is the heart of the Polkadot. And the parachain is our own blockchain that has own logic, such as DeFi parachain, smart contract parachain, uh, WebAssembly smart contract parachain, like IoT parachain, and so on. And the important thing is Polkadot relay chain does not support smart contract functionality by design. So all people need at least one parachain that supports smart contract. And when it comes to smart contract, Ethereum is definitely the biggest uh, smart contract platform. So EVM compatibility is very important. But uh, future is WebAssembly. So it is super important for Polkadot ecosystem to support the future web assembly. And yeah, uh, in the future, 
uh, we would like to make a bridges between Ethereum, Cosmos, Binance Smart Chain, etc. So uh, we are not making Ethereum on Polkadot. We are making multi chain smart contract hub on Polkadot. So Polkadot connect blockchains. This is great. But more technically, a Polkadot connect blockchain build on substrate. So these two are completely different. Polkadot can only connect substrate based blockchain at this moment. So it is not in, it is not possible to connect Polkadot to Ethereum, Polkadot to Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, and so on directly. So we need an adapter. And Asta Network is going to be an adapter. So Asta Network version one is Polkadot Parachain, but Asta Network version two is a multi-chain DApps hub. By making this architecture and this protocol, we can we can issue, let's say, Binance Smart Chain token on Asta, Avalanche's token on Asta, and we can make uh, new use cases like a synthetic asset, multi chain synthetic asset, or multi chain DEX, and, and yeah, a lot of DeFi use cases and NFT use cases. So, this is the problem and solution. Uh, the first one is Polkadot Relay Chain and Xama Relay Chain as well does not support smart contract by design. So, all people need smart contract parachains. And second one is EVM compatibility is everywhere. Like Polygon is supporting EVM, Binance Smart Chain is supporting EVM, Avalanche is supporting EVM. So EVM is a default feature. So EVM means Ethereum virtual machine, by the way. So this is also a default feature for Polkadot parachains. Like Akala is supporting EVM, uh, Asta is supporting EVM, Moonbeam is also supporting EVM. So EVM is everywhere. So what makes us unique is we are also supporting WebAssembly and we are developing the interaction between EVM and WebAssembly. And last one is platform uh, all about networking effect. So why Ethereum is so great? Because Ethereum has the strongest networking effect. A lot of people are developing the dApps or infrastructure on the top of Ethereum. That's why Ethereum can attract a lot of more developer. So this is like an example of the network effect. So blockchain is also all about networking effect, but generally speaking, there are no or few financial incentives for early developers to deploy smart contract or deploy infrastructure on the top of the blockchain. So how can we solve this kind of problem? Yeah, we have a uh, three solution. The first one is DAPS staking. Uh, this is the very unique feature only Asta and Shiden Network supports in the Polkadot ecosystem or even like a blockchain ecosystem. So this is like a basic income function. Uh, to make the long story short, you can earn Shiden token, you can earn Asta token by making application by making smart contract or by making infrastructure. So uh, let's say, for example, that the variation of the Shiden network is around 400 million right now, and the inflation rate is 10%. So we are going to issue additional 40 million US dollar equivalent Shiden token per year. And 50% of the block rewards goes to validator, just like Ethereum, just like Bitcoin and just like other parachain. And 50% will be distributed to community member, especially developer. So in this example, 40 million will be issued per year and 20 million goes to developer. In this sense, by making smart contract, you can um, token. Uh, let's say another example. Uh, so you are making an um, infrastructure for Ethereum or even dApps. You are making dApps on the top of Ethereum and you have to pay gas for each transaction and deploying smart contract takes a lot of fee and it, 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 it is not cheap right now. 
But if you deploy contract on Asta or if you deploy contract on Shiden, you have to pay the gas fee by, by Shiden token or KSM. But you can earn Shiden token from Block Rewards based on your performance. So this is the like uh, the decentralized grant system for the community. And second one is multi virtual machine implementation. So we are supporting Ethereum virtual machine and we are supporting WebAssembly. And WebAssembly and Ethereum virtual machine are two different virtual machine, just like Windows and Mac. And Mac and Windows are not compatible. So Ethereum virtual machine and WebAssembly is uh, not compatible as well. So we have to make the, the interaction in the system which allow people to interact with, interact each other. And third one is layer two solution. So we are working on ZK rollup right now. And we got grants from the Web3 Foundation and we are going to deliver optimistic rollup as well as ZK rollup. Uh, this is our tracking records. Uh, we got seven grants from the Web3 Foundation and we became one of the first parachains on Xama and on Lococo. Lococo is a Polkadot testnet and we have collected more than 150,000 Ethereum through two lock drops. Lock drop is the fairest way to distribute token. So basically uh, you are going to, if you, if you lock your ease on our smart contract, after the one year, you can withdraw. And based on the opportunity cost, we distributed our token to people. We did lock drop because decentralization matters. Decentralization is the first priority for us. Uh, a lot of projects are doing like a private sale or ICOs or something like that, but uh, this is like a joke for me. Um, people comes first before the venture capital, before webs. So we did lock drop two times, and then we raised the money, money from Benja Capital. So uh, I think Shiden is one of the most decentralized network at this moment. And you can see the number on Subscan. So we are working with more than 40 projects right now, like a DeFi project, NFT project, and infrastructure. And the community is getting bigger and bigger on Telegram and Discord. So we have a Discord group for technical chat and Telegram group for the token chat. Um, I usually on Discord. So if you have any question, feel free to join. Yeah, uh, this is the community map. Uh, community map uh, community is definitely getting bigger and bigger. And especially I'm really excited about NFT. And more, you know, a lot of NFT projects are coming in uh, months. And one month ago, we we finally deployed the Shiden network. And Shiden network is functional right now. You can transfer the token and you will be able to deploy smart contract on the top of Shiden. Yeah, uh, from now on, I'm going to talk about uh, Shiden network on Xama environment. So you can see a Xama status on Polkadot.js. Uh, like this, uh, yeah. Uh, at this moment, uh, we have a Xama parachain auction, and I think Kilt is, Kilt is going to be uh, the sixth parachain. And let's see the network. So Shiden is here. So yeah, uh, this is the block number. Um, other parachain mine block every six seconds, but Shiden is 12 seconds. So that's why the number is the smallest. And we we secure the least 14 to 20s. So we have a 253 days to be a Xama parachain. And you can see uh, Shiden's Polkadot.js here. Let's see stake technologies. Yeah, uh, 
uh, you can see the recent events and minor uh, validator is, sorry, collator is, um, pro, uh, collator is producing uh, block information here. And this is a total supply. And our target is 12 seconds. That's why a uh, new block is mint every 12 seconds. And now you can transfer shidden token. I don't know, I'm not going to this page, account page, because I don't want to disclose my amount. But you can transfer the shidden token right now. Yeah, uh, we be, as, as I mentioned before, we became a Shiden parachain, a Shiden Kusama parachain, and the, we are the, at the phase of two, 2.7 right now. So we have already distributed CrowdRun uh, rewards for participants, and we, we became a POS network from POA. So uh, nominated proof of stake has a problem right now and Parity Technologies is working on that. So once Parity solved the, the problem, our network is going to be from pro proof of stake to nominated proof of stake so that people can uh, stake their token on validator, sorry, collator. And we have already enabled token transfer uh, around five days ago. And we have already listed our token on exchanges. And next week, we're going to enable Ethereum virtual machine smart contract and WebAssembly smart contract in coming weeks. And after that, we are going to enable DAPS staking. DAPS staking is very unique core feature. And we are really focusing on DAPS staking. And once DAPS staking is activated, all developer can get rewards so that we can attract a lot of developer from the community. And phase three is all about cross-chain messaging passing. So we are going to list Shiden token on Karura Dex, and we are going to deliver the first minimum variable product of Ethereum Bridge by the end of the September. Yeah. Uh, Lastly, I would like to talk about cross virtual machine. So cross virtual machine, as known as XVM, is the interaction between EVM and WebAssembly. So Ethereum virtual machine is the environment for Ethereum and Ethereum compatible chain. And WebAssembly is a uh, environment not only not only for blockchain, but also like a browser like Mozilla, Google, and so on. And a lot of the big company are also developing WebAssembly, just like Google, uh, Mozilla, Microsoft, and so on. And Gab, uh, he is the founder of Polkadot and even Ethereum. He said that WebAssembly is the future of smart contract, but legacy EVM is right now. So it is super important for Shiden and Asta to support both. Starts from EVM, but future is WebAssembly. So we are going to focus more on EVM in a very short term, let's say one or two months. But in the long run, WebAssembly is a future. So we are going to support WebAssembly as well. So what, what if we support two different virtual machines? EVM and the WebAssembly is just like Mac and Windows. So there are two different virtual machines on one parachain. So we need a lot of the interaction between EVM and WebAssembly. And we are inventing the way how to interact with each other. Yeah, uh, I'm going to show you a demo. So uh, first, we're going to see a WebAssembly smart contract, and then we are going to check the contract address. And contract address is not Ethereum address because this is based on WebAssembly. But we are going to convert WebAssembly address to Ethereum address, like starting from 0x something. And lastly, we are going to call WebAssembly contract from Ethereum environment, the mix. All right. 
So uh, this is the demo. So first, this is WebAssembly environment, and we have already deployed my contract. This is WebAssembly on our testnet. And there is hello contract function. So we are going to call hello function from Ethereum virtual machine environment. Yeah, we, we just uh, use for hello function on e, uh, WebAssembly environment and it is executed right now. Cool, uh, so let's copy the, the contract address and the contract address is YHAJI, blah, blah, blah. And this is like a WebAssembly smart contract contract address. As you know, this is not Ethereum address, right? And this is WebAssembly contract address. So this address is not compatible with Ethereum. So we are going to change this address to Ethereum address. So this is WebAssembly contract address and we change WebAssembly contract address to Ethereum contract address. So YHAJI blah, blah, blah is the same is same to 0x67f, blah, blah, blah. So the contract is the same, but address is different because we changed our WebAssembly contract address to Ethereum contract address. And this is the uh, Linux, uh, Ethereum virtual machine environment. And what we are going to do is we are going to call uh, Ethereum, but sorry, a WebAssembly contract function from Ethereum environment. So let's paste the address we created from WebAssembly. And I just called a hello function from Ethereum virtual machine environment. That's why I'm using MetaMask here. Yeah, transaction is confirmed. So you can see the result here, uh, Ethereum executed. This means my contract is called from Ethereum virtual machine environment, Linux. Yeah, uh, this is a demo we just called a WebAssembly function from EVM environment. And in the future, we can call e uh, Solidity Smart Contract from WebAssembly environment. But I think in the coming days, a lot of people are going to use EVM rather than the WebAssembly. So we are focusing on the, the, the core function from WebAssembly to Sorry, from EVM to WebAssembly. Yeah, uh, that's it. But uh, I, I would like to show you uh, our new product, which is uh, Asta Network Portal. And this is the portal. So we are going, this is like a beta right now, but we are going to fully launch Asta Network Portal in September. And now you have a, this is a test net and we have a Shiden main net. And the, the, the good thing is this is a WebAssembly portal, but a MetaMask can be integrated here. So you can use Ethereum on the top of Polkadot parachain application. Uh, on my MetaMask, I don't have a, my test net token. That's why this is zero. But if you can import Shiden token, Asta token on MetaMask. And if you have a token on MetaMask, your amount will be shown here. And another thing is DApps. So you can create your own DApps on our testnet by using this portal. And this is the, the address. And we can update the contract here. The Flipper contract, this is like a very basic contract. And we can see the function. And this is needed. Yeah, 
uh, something like this. And then just click, 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 and we can upgrade, update our smart contract on the top of uh, Shiden, Asta, and our testnet. I have integrated MetaMask to this portal, but uh, my MetaMask does not have a testnet tokens, but so I cannot deploy the contract. But in the future, you can deploy a WebAssembly contract or Solidity smart contract on Asta network by using this portal. And DAPS staking will be supported on our portal, and ECAM bridge and DEX and a lot of feature will be supported in this portal. Yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you for your time. And if you have any further question, feel free to ask me. And yeah, uh, Shiden is going to support EVM WebAssembly in coming days. So I'm really excited to support a lot of DeFi, NFT, and a lot of the use case in coming months. Thank you very much. Great, Soda. Thank you so much. Um, there was a couple questions in the audience, uh, you know, non-developers trying to understand the interoperability between WebAssembly and EVM. And I think you said it at the beginning, you know, Gavin said EVM is here to stay. You know, you really need to start connecting with the EVM ecosystem. But at the same time, uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of advantages to WebAssembly and having uh, an evolution in blockchain programming. Can, can maybe you touch on, you know, the necessity for WebAssembly, what makes it uh, so great in having a bridge and not just using the EVM infrastructure and solidity? Is it to bring in more developers uh, to have more advanced functionality and speed or what are the main advantages for building it through WebAssembly? Yeah, I, I think this is a very great, great question. So there are a lot of advantages using WebAssembly, but the, the biggest advantage is that the WebAssembly is made, built by like open source project, but mainly built by big tech companies such as Mozilla, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and so on. So, but Ethereum virtual machine is built by Ethereum community. So this EVM is mainly for blockchain developer, right? But WebAssembly is not just for blockchain developer, but also web developer and so on. And WebAssembly can support a lot of languages such as Go, Kotlin, uh, obviously Rust, and I said Go, yeah, and so on, and JavaScript. So there are a lot of the exciting possibility and potential on the top of WebAssembly. So that's why we are focusing on EVM in the coming months, but I think future is WebAssembly. So that's why it is super important to support both virtual machine at the same time. Great, well, all the best with the continued launch of ASTAR and uh, congrats on the Sh uh, Shiden Network launch and uh, the token being out. I'm excited to see that grow and uh, all the best to your team. Thank you so much.